I guess that's good. Okay. All right, we're we're alive. No one's here yet, but no one's here. Might as well get something to eat then. Well, you have. Oh, okay. Four people are here. Four people are here. Okay, tell me who y'all are. You're here. Some pineapple, okay. Uh, hi, Berta. What a nice surprise to catch you live. That's farmer. Oh, farmer, farmer Jack Jack Hugh. Yeah, hey, uh, good morning. Uh, I'm just eating some pineapple. Hi, from Jane Jones. Hi, Jane. Yeah, Jill from. North Carolina, right? That's NC. Hi, Jill from North Carolina. Marsha from Kentucky, KY. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of running around trying to get ready for a, um, a live show, but I like it. But I'm hungry, so I'm eating some pineapple. It's just fresh pineapple that I cut up, threw in a little container. really sweet. Did you guys have breakfast already? Tell me some of the things you've been eating that you ate today. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't have to be super healthy, but what did you have? Super healthy. Uh Healthy, so like donuts? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No one said that. No one said donuts. Whatever they want to, whatever they have. I'll wait for a few more people and then I'll start making this. Because you know I got to make something when I have a live show. I can't just do a live show. Making this, what do you make? And did anybody ask? No, I'm asking. I am making vegan butter. Ugh. It's made with cauliflower, and it's on my it's on my um, channel, and I made it a few months ago, and I've been eating it ever since. This stuff is really good. I, I, it's like butter. It actually tastes really, really good, and I use it on. I'm gonna put it on some things. I have four little pieces of Ezekiel. English muffin, and I was going to throw it on some of that. And it's just very tasty. You got to make this stuff at least once and see what you think. Now, if you are so ingrained in eating butter, this may not be it. But if you are wanting something a little bit different, not so oily, not so full of fat, this would be because it gives you that taste of butter. Okay? Let me finish this. And then we'll get into it. Ben from Queens, New York says that your mayonnaise has enhanced their healthy eating lately. I'm so glad to hear that, Ben. Okay. I love that stuff too. I have a recipe that um, is it's a creamy Italian that I make with that. And I've been making it for the last few weeks and it's really good. So I'm going to share that with you too. So I'm branching out from my just using it as mayonnaise. Um, Nina had a had a nope, Nate, I didn't do that. Marsha had a Nutri-Grain bar and a banana. That's pretty good. You got to, you have your grain, your whole grain, and um, your fruit. That's good. Someone else had hummus, crackers, and fruit. Mm-hmm. 
And then I want a chocolate banana smoothie. That doesn't sound too bad. No, it doesn't. Uh, early lunch for another person, a veggie burger with roasted poblanto. Poblano? Poblano, so pepper peppers. Mm -hmm. We're telling, you're just telling me what you, what you ate before you came on for breakfast or early lunch, whichever. Just want to hear some of the things you guys eat. Doesn't matter. You have to be perfect. You don't have to have it super healthy. Just share with me so that I'll know you better. I'm having pineapple. I cut up some pine pineapple right there. Oatmeal okay. with hemp seed, banana, Ooh. tahini, and tahini. That sounds really good. Uh, homemade pumpkin pie oatmeal. Oh. Everything but uh, the crust. Okay, instead of. That I use old old fashioned oats. Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna share one sweet potato pie. Oats. I just made it up one day because I had some sweet potato in the refrigerator. And Ev made some uh, oats. Okay. I'm done now. Another chocolate banana smoothie. With coconut. Coconut butter. Coconut butter? Our right. banana smoothie has no sugar, has coconut butter. Yeah. Okay. That must be good. He's running off someplace. So, you know, when he comes back, we'll get started on the reason these, these are Ezekiel bread and toast them are very hard. Ezekiel bread English muffins. And I'm going to use my butter, my vegan butter, to um, to put on there. With a couple of things I have down here, I just have some date paste, which I really like too. And then my favorite, all fruit jelly. And it's sweetened with not sugar, but uh, fruit juice. So I buy a lantern. They're not giving me anything for it. I just, I've been using it for years. That's what the children grew up on. 35 years they've been using that. So, you got anybody else? Should I just get started? Just get started? Okay. I'm going to pour in. Now, the recipe that I have on the channel is this this recipe that I'm doing, and I give you the measurements. They are one and a half the what I have on the channel. Because I tried two. I tried doubling it. Didn't quite taste right. So, I went and dropped down to one and a half times, and it was really good. Tastes the same. So, this is... Uh, three fourths of a cup of plant milk. Someone asked, "Where did you learn to cook so well?" <clears throat> <laughs> That's a funny story. Um, I didn't always know how to cook. I didn't even know that it was something I really wanted to do. Um, I learned how to cook, <laughs> making a whole lot of errors, and one of which was. Um, my mama didn't let me get in the kitchen. We had a, I have a, I'm from a very large family and mama didn't want you in our kitchen because she loved being a mama and she loved cooking. And so um, years ago, you had to have home economics and I took home economics and it was so much fun. I loved it. You learned how to cook, you learned how to sew, you learned to do all the things in, that you do in a home. And um, I think it's a shame that they don't teach home economics and the guys could learn, the girls could learn Anyway, that's my little side thing. Anyway, I, I really liked it. And I never I didn't know it was a passion. It was something I, I enjoyed doing so much. So every Christmas from then on, Mama let me in the kitchen. It was okay to do cookies. Right? So I did Christmas cookies. But then I had to move away to get a job and moved up here to New England. And I still didn't know how to cook. And she had a cookbook. And I shared this in the, in the other, um, the last live show. So I bought the same cookbook and just started trying stuff. And um, my husband now, but my boyfriend then, uh, it just showed me some of the, uh, some things in, on how to cook. And, and I just started making bread and just trying and messing up recipes. And then I realized that if I just took my time, went over the recipe to see what I had um, and get all the ingredients together and just try it slowly, it would turn out better. And it did. And I just started making things that I really liked. Then I started using recipes 
not exactly as they are I've written down. I changed this out because I didn't like it. I put something else in because I did. And it just became something I enjoyed so much. And then I had children and I wanted to feed them well. And though we were like on the standard American diet, I also introduced a lot of fruits and vegetables, no soda, rarely soda, and um, just made them eat healthy, healthier than, than what uh, I had been eating before I learned how to cook. And I think when, you, when children are introduced into your life, you, um, at least for me, I wanted them to have a good start in life and eating well because she, they're going to take their body around with them wherever they go. And so I became more adamant about putting good things in them and teaching them about, you know, different fruits and vegetables. And at the time it was meats and eating butter rather than margarine. And I taught them at a very early age how to read labels because I had to teach myself. And it just, it just became an uh, outflow from home economics that I realized back then I enjoyed it, but I didn't realize how much until I just kept doing it, making mistakes. Cooking is something I think is, is evol is a, something that evolves. It doesn't stay the same. If you keep on cooking, you'll find out that you can go back to a recipe that you've been making for a long time. And maybe you don't have that one ingredient. And you say, you know what? I think I'm gonna try this instead because that's all I've got and I'm not gonna run out to the store and get it. And you find out that recipe changes, but it tastes good too. And that's how you learn about your own substitutions. So I started cooking and loving cooking kind of because I had to. Nobody was going to cook for me when I moved out on my own. And um, I've been loving it ever since and enjoying the ride. I didn't know, again, how much I liked it for the longest time. But I do enjoy it very, very much. Run, racing around here before the, sh before the live show is, is it's like, ah! But I know that once I settle down and I get everything together, I'm going to be talking to you guys and I'm going to really enjoy myself. So I hope that answers the question. Long answer for a little short question. Who was it that asked? Did you see? Uh, uh, Amy Reeves. Okay. I hope that answers it, Amy. Okay. So we'll get keep on going. First, you put in your plant milk. Because when you use a blender, I think this is true of all blenders. If you put that liquid on the bottom because of the way it'll turn it over with all your dry or your kind of wet ingredients and it'll make a good blend. The next thing I'm going to put in is three-fourths of a cup of cooked cauliflower. That's what it is. That's it. Get it all. Little pieces are stuck in there. I have a big thing for those of you who don't know me and have just started watching me. I had a thing for watching cooks on television and chefs. Um, they leave so much stuff in their pans and their pots and their bowls and stuff. And I would be standing in there fussing with them. Get the rest of that stuff in there. That could make another cookie. <laughs> that could make a half of a brownie. So my, I want to be known for get it all because that's what I've been saying for many, many years. Just get everything that's in there. Get it all. Okay. Next thing is a pinch of, uh, a pinch and a smidgen of turmeric. Now, I don't know if you know about turmeric. But it has something in it called curcumin. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And get all that too. Um, and what it does, it's very, very good for, I don't even know all the things that it's good for, but you can look it up. I did a show on it. But turmeric is very good, but it's the, the curcumin in there that helps like joints. I know that it's good for that. Um, I think it's even good for blood pressures and things like that. But when you do that, what I didn't put in here, which I'm going to change right now, is you need a couple turns of black pepper to drive it into your cells, okay? So I'm just gonna do, that's all you need. I did three turns of, three turns of black pepper. And it has to be black pepper and it'll help you. This is three eighths of a teaspoon of salt and I usually use uh, Himalayan salt, dump that right in. Scoop out all the little granules. And the last thing that I'm using is tapioca uh, flour or tapioca starch. It's the same thing. 
and dump that in. And that's your thickener. And get that all because it likes it's very powdery, like um, powdered sugar, 10x sugar. And then you're going to blend it up, and then we're going to cook it. I don't know, sometimes maybe I get a little ridiculous, but that's all that's left in there. been blender, uh, blenderized is that when it pops up on the side you won't see it'll be really smooth and so you can stop blending at that time. I usually don't count the minutes or seconds or anything like that. Now you're going to take it to the stove and you want to do still want to do that? Kevin? What are you going to do with the stove? At the stove we're going to cook it for a little bit because tapioca is uh, is made it thickens whatever it is you put it in when you heat it up. And now it's a little bit thick now, but it'll get even thicker than this. It'll be more like a whipped butter consistency. Okay, instead of this is this is one of my pans from um Hexclad. I'm going to scrape out as much as I possibly can before it starts to thicken. Can you get it? Am I arm in the way? No, they're fine. Hillary says that you seem like such a lovely lady. Thank you for sharing it with us. Oh, Hillary. You know what's so funny? When I was younger, I think you go through stages. Everybody does. And uh, I just wanted people to like me. And so I tried to be whatever people wanted. Did a lot of lying. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. Let, let look at that. Okay, this is going to thicken even more than when I first did it. And you have it on like a medium heat, but you see it's starting to kind of get a little bit thicker. You see that? Let me turn it up a little bit. I don't want to burn it. But this is my hex clad pan that I did a, a video on last week, week before. Was it last week? Week before, maybe? Okay, that's about as thick as it's going to get on the stove, which is pretty thick. It starts to bubble, you know you're done. Okay, so that's it. Lot of people would do but so you can you can you see this yes we can okay so when i was over there cooking i splashed some of the butter the vegan butter up on me and the children always tell me mom we can take you somewhere but we always we just can't take you someplace and expect you when you if you've got to eat or if there's, if there's food around that you are going to be like clean when you're done Wait, I didn't even eat anything yet, and there's the stuff on me. And uh, I'm always wasting stuff on myself. So I have 
<laughs> I have two sons, Evan and another son, Dan. And he said to me when he was younger, he says, Mom, maybe you need to just make a, a bib for yourself. So that's what I wear now. This is the dish towel, but I do wear it. There, it's, it's done. And I got it all, see? And I guess I should wipe this off before it stings. But, so, with all of that said, anybody else asking anything? Uh, someone, was, someone, left. someone was just saying that it's amazing the older you get, the less uh, you care about what others think. <laughs> you said a mouthful full girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever it is that said that. You definitely do, because you find out as you get older that what other people think about you, you have to go around with you all the time, every day. You're with you. Do you like you? Do you want to do your things that you enjoy? Because somebody said something about you is not going to change because you like doing so and so. So I have learned. I do. I do burda because I like I like the things I do. Let me put this over here. And I'm just going to put, because even though it ha oh, the last thing you do is put it in a container. And I have a little snap top lid that I'll put on. But I just put this in the refrigerator and it'll get harder, harder than this. But for right now, I'm just gonna put some butter on here. And the pepper won't make it uh, like hot, spicy. And I think I'll put another one on here. Is Farmer saying anything? Uh. He hasn't said a word. No. Let me see. Tell me. Okay, and this is the last of my date face, which I'm very sad. I'll have to go make some more. But I use this a lot to sweeten things. It's very good. I'm just going to stick it right on the top of here. And it's like a little jelly. It's very good. So, um, what else can I tell you about? I think people are just saying how turmeric is good for oh what and, else yeah uh, just anti inflammatory uh, anti inflammatory mm -hmm. inflammation and stuff. Mm -hmm. someone says that it prevents alzheimer's yep i've heard that too um, yeah it's very very good for you anytime you can get say a quarter of a teaspoon each day and don't forget to put a little bit of black pepper in there with it you're gonna find that you, you'll see a difference in your body. I've been trying to do that. Uh, say what it is that you that you made. Mm. I made vegan butter. It's on the channel. I made a little bit more because I use it on so much. I'll stop chewing and share with you. I have used this when it's harder, after it comes out of the refrigerator, it's a little bit harder. I've used this to make biscuits, and it really turns out nice. Um, I use it on my vegetables, toast, um, any place, think of places where you would use butter. I don't know, I've never made a cake with it, or like bread or anything, but I've used it for a lot of things that you use butter for, and I, let me just taste this one. I just like, I like the taste. I think it tastes pretty good. It reminds me of butter. It's not butter, as you know, but it reminds me of the taste. Is, is, it reminds me of butter with that little bit of salt and uh, the pepper that's in there because we use turmeric to give it a nice color. Um, but I, I really, really like this stuff. And I think you will too. Give it a try and see. And whatever you make, don't say, Ah, uh, that doesn't taste so good. I'm just going to throw it out. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Keep your butter and keep trying it on stuff. And before you know it, when you're finished with your little tub or whatever you put it in, you will find that you really enjoy this stuff. I'm not saying you never eat butter again, but you'll have your own butter with way fewer calories because there's no fat in this thing. Okay? 
someone else says getting wisdom, not only nutrition from birth. <laughs> well, I don't know if all of you know, but I had a birthday in May and I was 70. And my sister and I, I have a sister, I have many sisters, but this particular one said to me, did you ever think when we were playing with our dolls years ago um, that we would get to be 70 and 72? And we were laughing so hard. And I said, no, we think people that were 70 and 72 years old was, my goodness, they were ancient. And now we're there. And we decided, and I'm sure the world has said this, that the older you get, the younger old is. What do you think of that? <laughs> and someone says that they wear all black uh, mostly because whenever they buy something lighter colored, uh, they stain it with food. <laughs> I understand. But you gotta, you have got to put some light colors on. Because brightly colored clothes will make you feel better. No matter what size you are. And you look in the window as you're passing by. And guys, you can do the same thing. As you're pa passing by a window or a mirror in the store or whatever, you look at yourself and you think, wow, I look good in that color. That's nice. You can wear your dark, dark color sometime. Maybe when you're going out to dinner or something like that, some special occasion, because you don't want <laughs> to end up with a chest full of food, <laughs> food stains that you had to brush, up, brush off. But when you're by yourself or you're with a girlfriend or your husband, boyfriend, whatever, children, go ahead and put on a, on a, on a brightly colored piece of clothing on your top so that you can really see that it does brighten your, brighten your day. It has for me. I love bright colors. I told the children, when I die, no black for me. Tell the people, after you tell them I'm gone, mama wanted everybody to come to her funeral with bright colors. Reds and oranges and yellows and golds, and fuchsia, teal, green, blues, no black. Okay? I'll put a little bit of just jelly on it. Any more questions? No. No questions? No questions. What? I, I hope, I know what I'm going to ask. Is, um, I give you about a, I give you a week before I, um, before I'm actually going to go live. Does that seem to be enough time for you? Um, or do you want a longer period of time so you can schedule it? We, the first one I did, I didn't give you, I gave you a few hours. I think it was a few hours or the next day. And then you guys said, Britta, I wanted to do it, but I didn't know you were going to have it. So I thought a week would be good. Let me know, yay or nay, if a week is enough time. And if it's nay, how much time do you think you need? Okay. How long does the butter last? Okay. Let me think. I have an old refrigerator, but this may be true of new refrigerators as well. After I put the top on it and I put it in the refrigerator, I put it in the back of a, of, a, of a shelf so that it stays cold and other things are in front of it. And I have found it to last about two or three weeks. I go in there and there's no mold on it or anything. And um, I keep using it and then scraping out the, the little pieces that are left. And I use this spatula I have to find out where I got this. I think it's from my husband. Um, because it's really good. It's got a, like, almost, I don't know if you can see how fine. It has a very, sh like, a close, sharp edge. And it tapers into it. So you can go around and really get out a lot of things with it. And it's small. Um, so I use this guy to get out all the little pieces that are left in there. And it's usually about two or three weeks. It lasts, and um... uh, someone says that it lasts long, lasts longer than it will actually last in my house. <laughs> because what? It lasts longer than it would actually last. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you're saying that it, that it lasts two to three weeks, but it sounds like it only lasts a week in her house. 
Oh. Because she eats it sometimes. I see, yeah. Do you do any gardening? No gardening. I sew. Well, I guess my son would say she can sew, but she hasn't sewed in a while. I love to sew. But gardening, no. You have gardened in the past. I've gardened in the past when I was younger. I did. Me and my grandma used to... We've had some gardens here. And some gardens here, too. Yeah. My grandma when I was little. I hope you don't mind me doing this. That's what I like to do. Well, it's going on the internet, so... <laughs> Whatever. They'll let me know you. Okay, so I'm trying to think. Uh, do you drink coffee? I am not a coffee drinker. Um... I, I have tried it when I was in college to stay up taking exams, that kind of thing. And it just made me jittery. And so I would drink tea, strong tea. And that was seemed to be okay. Like Lipton and Salada and stuff like that. Then when I graduated, I, after I learned how to cook and things and started looking at labels and such, things that were good for me, I started doing herb tea. My husband's my husband is from St. Croix, Virgin Islands. That's his roots. And they drink a lot of tea. He drinks tea all summer long. He's a tea drinker, his mom was, and his dad is a little bit. But my family were coffee drinkers. And I just couldn't get used to the taste. It just tasted so I don't know, like harsh and bitter and coffee tasting. Does that make sense? One day I'll tell you a story. And I was about nine years old. And I loved my dad. He was, I loved my dad and my mom. And, but my dad had a special way of drinking his coffee before he went to work. He would always drink out of a saucer and a teacup. Uh, my mom always poured his coffee in there and he put in some milk and I'd sit there and watch him. And if he used sugar at all, it was maybe the edge of that much down of, of sugar, stirred it in. But, and then when he finished, he poured it into the saucer. I don't know if it's a southern thing. I just know that's what my dad did. And he would just, oh, he would take that, that saucer up to his mouth and, and drink on it. And um, he always said, ah, when he, when he would drink it. So I thought, being a young, a little kid, that, gosh, daddy really likes this stuff. It must be really good. So off to work he went, and my mom went to the back of the house to, I don't know, make a bed or something. And so I was still sitting there, and daddy had left a little bit in the cup. So I poured it in his sauce, and I put it up to my mouth to drink it. And I thought, and I spit it out. <sighs> my mom comes down the hall. She goes, not that good, huh? <laughs> and so we both had a good laugh at that because I just wanted to taste it. He enjoyed it so much. So over the years, remembering that story, I kept trying to taste, try to trying to drink coffee, but it just never, it just me and it just never married and said. That's a drink for me. I, uh, I'm not a coffee drinker. All that to say, no, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so. Uh, can you use frozen uh, uh, cauliflower for this butter? Absolutely. I've done it. Thaw it first. Okay? You don't want it frozen. You can take the frozen out and then let it thaw the little bit that you, you're going to need. Try the half a cup um, of, uh, of cauliflower. First, before you do the bigger version, if you don't like it, then you don't have to throw away as much. But yeah, it does work. Absolutely works. But thaw it first. Are those specials on the on the in the Amazon recommended? I don't know. So someone just said that they are available on Amazon. I'm pretty sure she's right. Okay, they're called Thermo Thermo. I can't see if it's an A or an O. Thermal works. These are really nice patches. I have another one. I'll go get it. Okay. I don't have to? No. It's, it's two. It come, mine came with a set of two. This one and another one. It kind of reminds you of a spoon. It comes out wide over here and it's like a spoon. So you can stir and lift up and taste, I guess, like a tasting spatula. It's really good. Same feeling on coffee, but they love the smell. Um, ah! That's exactly me. Who said that? Uh, Abby something. Uh, Abby. 
That's exactly it. In our house, when my mom would make coffee, she drank coffee too. She only drank hers with milk. But it was it was breakfast time when I could smell that coffee. That's why I really, really loved not the taste of coffee, but the smell of coffee. To this day, I enjoy smelling, having coffee, that smell of coffee in my um, around me when I go into a restaurant or something like that, or when it's poured, it's really nice. I agree with you. You and I, great minds think alike, Abby. Uh, a week is long enough to notify about the live stream, but uh, maybe send out a reminder the day of. I mean, the day before. Day before. Okay. Which is probably what. That's a good yeah, idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. Thank you so much. Who was that? Mary Rose. Oh, Mary Rose. I know her. Well, I feel like I know you, Mary Rose. You and I chat. Do you have a favorite movie or song? Favorite movie. I'll tell you songs. <laughs> um, I don't know if I have a, a favorite. I guess I could share a movie that I like. My, one of my favorite movies is It's a Wonderful Life. I could look at that at every Christmas for many years before we even had children. So this is like 35 years. I would, around Christmas time, they show It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart. Donna Reed. And I would always, always have to look at that. I'd stay up late to look at it if it was only on at a certain time and I couldn't, I had to go to work the next day or whatever. And so over the years, my husband said, if you like this movie this much, I'm buying it for you. And since he bought it for me, I haven't really watched it. I still watch it on television. What's that? I don't understand that. But that's really one of my real favorites. It just walked me through the life of this guy and I just like the theme of it. I like how much he loved his family. I just, it, it's just a good movie. Yeah, that's that's uh, my favorite. I think one of my very, very favorites. Um, just, I'm gonna write this down, just send out a reminder. Day before. Songs. Oh. Well, okay. we're, we're past a half an hour. I'm okay. Keep going. All right. I'll think of a song and then I'll share it with you on the community post or something like that. But I wanted to do about a half an hour so you guys wouldn't get <laughs> bored stiff with me, and uh, you could ask questions that you like. And um, if there's something that I I do make up recipes, but I'm not the it takes me a long time to to bring it to you, but if there's something that you have been looking for, maybe I could find a recipe that you're interested in and change it to my way of liking and then share it with you. But if there's a recipe that you've been wanting, um, wanting a vegan version of, just let me know what that is and I'll do my best to, to bring it to the channel so that you can have it, okay? I really enjoy these now because I get to hear from you guys. And Mary Rose, thank you for the suggestion and Abby and all the rest of you and Farmer, thank you for, for joining me. I don't remember everybody who's here, but I know that I appreciate you because without you, I it would be pointless to be doing my channel because I'd be talking to people and I never heard from, I never hear from them. And um, this is one of my favorite things now. So we're gonna have another one in a couple weeks. So I'll let you know. I'll be sure to give you a week's notice and send out a reminder. I think that's an excellent idea. Just want my channel to be better so that you guys can keep coming back. Okay, so until next time, bye for now.